Thanks, Ian. It's a sport that combines speed with navigational skills. This Victoria Day weekend, you may have seen some of the participants running around the Ottawa area. Well, reporter Simon Gardner tagged along for this look at the fast-growing sport of orienteering. Clutching a map and compass, they dash from one control point to another. This is orienteering, a sport that combines physical endurance, speed, and concentration. The mental challenge is deciding which route you're going to go from point to point. Uh, it may look easy. You might go, oh, I'm just going to go the straight route uh, from that point. But you might have a big hill in front of you, and you might not want to have to climb over that. You might want to go around it. That might be quicker. GPS isn't allowed, and competitors can't study the route in advance. They literally grab individual maps at the start. The different types of races can run anywhere from just 10 minutes or so to an hour and a half or even longer. These electronic control points contain a clock so the progress of each runner is accurately recorded. And each one of us uh, carries, a, we have various names for it, a finger stick and we put it in the box. The box records the time and which device it was and so when we come to the finish we can download that information. This event, hosted by the Ottawa Orienteering Club, attracted competitors from Canada, U.S. and Sweden. In Nordic countries, the sport is hugely popular. Eric Kemp of Ottawa is hoping to make the senior national team and compete in the World Orienteering Championships. It's, it's so exciting every time to discover new places and, and just to run your guts out, but at the same time have to stay in control and, uh, and fight with yourself. The Ottawa Orienteering Club usually holds race events like this one twice a year, but club members also meet weekly for training sessions. Beginners are always welcome. Simon Gardner, CBC News, Ottawa.